In this video, you will learn how to perform SDS PAGE of fish muscle. Polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, or PAGE, will be used to separate the proteins from fish muscle cells. To begin, you will need a 1.5 milliliter screw cap tube and a 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tube filled with 250 microliters of Lamley sample buffer. Lamley sample buffer denatures proteins and coats the proteins in SDS, which makes them negatively charged and ready to be electrophoresed. Cut a piece of fish, approximately 2 millimeters cubed, and transfer it into the microcentrifuge tube with Lamley sample buffer. Flick or shake the microcentrifuge tube to agitate the fish in the sample buffer and then incubate the tube for 5 minutes at room temperature. Following the room temperature incubation, carefully transfer the buffer from the microcentrifuge tube into the screw cap tube by pouring. Be careful not to transfer any of the fish muscle tissue. Firmly attach the screw cap onto the tube. Then heat the tube for 5 minutes at 95 degrees Celsius. This is a good stop point for this laboratory. You can proceed immediately to the next part of the lab or store the protein extracts at minus 20 degrees Celsius for up to 6 months. Prepare the mini protein TGX gel by removing it from its package. pulling the tape off of the bottom of the gel and removing the comb. Notice the gel has two plates, a short plate on one side and a long plate on the other. To set up the vertical electrophoresis system, remove the electrode assembly from the tank and open the green clamps. Place a gel into the electrode assembly with a short plate facing inward. Place a second gel on the opposite side of the assembly. If only one gel is run, use a buffer dam to replace the second gel. Push the gels toward each other, making sure they are flush against the notch green gaskets and that the short plates sit just below the notches of the gasket. Lock the green clamps over the gels. Lower the electrode assembly into the tank on the side of the tank with the plastic tabs. Make sure to match the red banana plug to the red oval on the tank. Lower the second assembly in the same manner. Fill the chamber of the electrode assembly with 1x TGS electrophoresis buffer so the short plates of the gel are covered. Add buffer to the outer tank up to the four gels line. The gels are now ready to load. Heat the fish sample and actin and myosin standard to 95 degrees Celsius for 2 to 5 minutes. Using a Protelect pipette tip, pipette 5 microliters of Precision Plus Protein Kaleidoscope standards in lane 1. In the remaining lanes, load 10 microliters of fish samples. In the last lane, load 10 microliters of actin and myosin standard. Place the lid on the electrophoresis chamber. Connect the electrical leads into the power supply in the proper orientation, red to red and black to black. Turn on the power and set the voltage at 200 volts.
If a timer is available, set the timer for 30 minutes. As the power is turned on, look for the release of bubbles from the electrode in the inner chamber. Watch the progression of the blue tracking dye in the Lamley sample buffer and the separation of the pre-stained standards down the gel as electrophoresis progresses. When the electrophoresis is complete, turn off the power and remove the lid from the chamber. Remove the electrode assembly and pour the buffer from the inner chamber back into the tank. Release the green clamps and remove the gel cassette from the electrode assembly. Remove the gel from the gel cassette using the opening key. Line up the arrows on the opening key with the four arrows on the cassette to open the cassette. Very gently transfer the gel into a staining tray filled with tap water. If time permits, rinse the gels three times for five minutes. This will remove chemicals and provide for better staining. After pouring out the tap water, add 50 milliliters of BioSafe Kamasi stain. For best results, stain the gel for at least one hour. After staining, rinse the gels two times in tap water. De-stain the gels in a large volume of water overnight, changing the water at least once. Blue stain bands will be visible on a clear gel after de-staining.